Welcome to TrendScout, a powerful fund analytics tool that reveals worldwide investor interest and industry trends in real time. All results are based on investor access to millions of fund documents hosted on FundInfo's online database. To access the service, simply open your browser and type in trendscout.fundinfo.com. Click on the Login button and enter your credentials as provided to you by FundInfo. Use of TrendScout requires a license agreement. However, if you'd like to evaluate TrendScout free of charge, you may try our demo version. Please contact FundInfo for details. To start using TrendScout, create a new profile or select an existing one. Profiles can be shared among users to allow groups to access the same stored searches. Contact FundInfo if you'd like to activate this option. For our example, we'll add a new profile. Let's assume we are working for the marketing department of Nordea Asset Management, responsible for worldwide marketing of funds. In this case, select World, so that all global sales channels are included in our analysis. In the Preferred Fund Groups field, we want to enter the name of the fund group that will be highlighted in our searches as a reference. In this case, we enter Nordea via the Search Fund Groups field. We also want all investor domiciles, as we are interested in investor behavior in all countries. All domiciles are selected by default, so configuration of our profile is now complete. Click on Add Modifile Profile. Now select the newly created profile and click on Confirm. Note that you may create as many profiles as you want. We're now at the selection screen where we'll be able to set up our search. Our profile is displayed in the upper right corner. And don't forget, help is always available by clicking on the question mark icon next to your profile name. Searching for funds is easy and can be done via a top-down or bottom-up approach. The top-down approach quickly generates high-level visualizations that display macro industry trends, such as top fund groups, top funds, or top categories. For these high-level views, you can easily drill down and filter the results further. Let's start by having a look at the most popular fund groups. Now this allows you to benchmark your fund group against that of your competitors. Clicking on Buy Fund Groups button generates the top 10 fund groups out of hundreds of companies based on investor interest. Note that your preferred fund group in this case, Nordea, is displayed in bold in this analysis to serve as a reference regardless of actual ranking. You can choose the number of trend lines to display from 3 up to 20 lines. Above the trend chart, you can view a summary of the filters that were used to generate the chart. For this example, we are viewing a midterm trend graph that displays a rolling 13-week total of all views over a two-year period. All fund groups, all funds, all categories, and investor domiciles are included in this analysis. Clicking on a fund house name in the heat map takes you one level down and shows you a list of funds offered by an individual fund group that attracts the most attention. In this example, Fidelity. Returning to our selection screen and resetting all the filters, we can also view the top funds by clicking on the Buy Funds button. Here, we see the top 10 funds based on investor interest. The vertical axis measures document view shares in terms of a percentage of all the views. Document views include KID, fact sheet, as well as downloads of fund prospectus, annual and semi-annual reports. 
Similar visualizations can also be generated for fund categories by returning to the selection screen and clicking on the Buy Categories button. If you only want to focus on your funds, clicking on the For My Funds button will display your most popular funds in the trend chart. To the right of the trend chart is a heat map. This is another way to visualize investor activity. Each colored cell corresponds to one measurement window, which in this example is 13 weeks. The color represents the change in document views that occurred from one rolling window to the next. The darker the blue, the larger the increase in views, as compared to the previous window. The darker the red, the larger the decrease in the views. Long-term and short-term trend charts can also be selected to highlight gradual trends over longer periods or quick changes that occurred over shorter periods. These trend charts are generated by increasing or decreasing the size of the rolling measurement window. By hovering over a window, the absolute number of document views for each fund on a weekly basis can be seen, as well as the total views of the entire selection of funds. Now this allows you to gauge investor interest in your funds and correlate it with your marketing activities as well as seasonal factors. By clicking on a fund name in the heat map, you can drill down further to see document views per investor domicile or document views by sales channel. In our example, clicking on Nordea One Stable Return Fund and selecting Drill Down by Domicile shows us that the fund achieves its highest level of interest from Spanish investors. A similar visualization can also be generated for fund sales channel. For more specific searches, we use a bottom-up approach. Return to the selection screen and reset all filters. Now let's say I'm a person responsible for marketing of emerging market funds. To get an overview of all funds in this category, select filters starting from the bottom of the screen. First, select fund groups. By default, all fund groups are considered for the analysis, so we leave this filter as is. Next, we select the category filter and select emerging markets equity. To do this, we first deselect all the filters, and then we select the category of our choice. In this case, under equity regions, we select the world emerging markets filter. We also are only interested in active funds, so we add the filter active only. We now click on buy funds to display all emerging market funds ranked by popularity. Note that the top 100 funds are shown by default in the heat map. Now this number can be increased to 5,000 by configuring the general filter on the selection screen. Note that the higher the number of funds included, the longer the processing time becomes. Now to modify the filter setting of this visualization, simply click on Selection to return to the filter settings. For example, if I only want to see the level of interest from global financial institutions, click on the Channels button and select Global FI World. Now, click on the Buy Funds button again, and the trend chart now ranks funds based on views by global financial institutions having significant operations in both Europe and Asia. Note that searches can be saved by clicking on the Save This Search in the lower left-hand corner. Now with Save Searches, you can build a pitch book, which can be used by you and your colleagues for monitoring and benchmarking purposes in the future. You can access and reload saved searches from the selection screen. At all levels of visualizations, raw data can be exported as a CSV file for easy analysis in Excel. Simply click on the Export Current Data to CSV button on your desired level of visualization and select either Views Shared Data, which exports relative data, or select Absolute Weekly Data, 
which exports absolute numbers of document views per fund. We hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial and encourage you to explore the endless analysis possibilities provided by TrendScout. Now with TrendScout, to give you some examples, you can analyze the results of your marketing activities, benchmark your fund portfolio against your competitors, compare the performance of individual funds versus each other, compare the performance of your competitors' funds with each other, and examine the interest in individual funds or categories over time. You can identify the source of interest in your funds based on investor domicile or sales channel, and many more. If you have any questions, please contact FundInfo by clicking on the profile icon and click the feedback button. Alternatively, visit our About website where you will find the FundInfo office nearest to you. Finally, if you'd like to receive a monthly TrendScout email newsletter highlighting interesting fund market trends, send us an email to info at fundinfo.com.